Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the feature bout of the night scheduled for three five minute rounds in the LFA flyweight division brought to you tonight by Martinez Ventures, investing in our future. And now introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, this mixed martial artist stands five foot six, weighed in 125.8 pounds. He holds a professional record, three wins, one defeat, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Extreme Couture, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Kaneohe, Hawaii. Here is a puny, the Hawaiian hitman, Paul Goa. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, is a freestyle fighter, standing five foot six, weighed in 126 pounds. He holds a professional record, five wins, two defeats, with three wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Apex Martial Arts, fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, here is Umberto Mosso Duarte. Your referee in charge of the action, Chris Flores. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the instructions in the dressing room. I expect a clean, professional fight. Touch it off now and go back to your corner. Listen, Ron, you got a Hawaiian and a Mexican in here. <laughs> oh, shit. And I believe we're going to get some scraps going down right now. 100% Pune Pagoa, red shorts, blue tape. Umberto Duarte, he's got the red tape and the black trunks scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the flyweight division. This is going to be a scrap. Duarte circling to the left, rightfully so against the South Paul. Go up right in a two-fight win streak. Talked about his plan. He felt that he's just more polished. And the key is that he trains with better, higher level athletes. And you mentioned it. He said he, he, he wants him to think that he's a boxer, throw his hands. But uh, the biggest advantage that Pagoa feels he has in this fight is on the feet. Look for Duarte to use some knee stomps. Said he uh, will change and switch stances. Self the overhands will be there. Yeah, what I like, both these individuals knew. They both know that they're in for a fight. They said, hey, this yes. is a very competitive. These guys, both, they respected each other. They knew it was going to be a game of inches. You can see Pagoa trying to stalk Durate, but stepping back, right? He's, he's walking forward, but ready to step back and counter, looking for his shots. Durate trying to go left and right, looking for his openings. Duarte said that he felt Pagoa would be open to kicks, especially with a liver kick. His game plan was to beat him up on the feet and push him up against the cage. Easier said than done. Pagoa, a very fast fighter, great footwork, very well-rounded as well. Both guys trying to get reads on each other. Durante settling in. Straight to the body. Counter by Durante. Left foot counter. Pony with another body shot. Smart. That has Durante backing up and now up against the cage. Pony with the pressure now. Durante circling, looking for his opportunity to counter. Smart, quick jabs by Puni. Yes. Quick jabs. Goa looking very crisp here tonight. Get through the midway point of the opening round. Goa has won the first round finish on his resume. That was a 12 second victory. Both gentlemen settling into the center of the octagon. All right, all right, all right. Looks like Durante is ready to strike, ready to hold his ground. Goa has already thrown 38 strikes, landing 14 of them. Another body shot by Pagoa. Overhand from Duarte. Yeah, Puni nods, he knows. Okay, that was respect. Two 
top flyweights. A nice catch from Duarte on the kick, and now he has the back of Pagoa. Great decision by Puni to go for the head kick, but really great response by Duarte. Has the wrist of Pagoa right now. Able to land good strikes because of it. Absolutely, those were some solid shots and some big time knees to the thigh. Wow, that wrist control is doing problems to, to Puni Pagoa right now. He needs to free that hand and his hand is freed. And Gil, wasn't that part of Umberto Duarte's game plan? He said that if he could control those wrists, he would have a lot of success in this fight. You know what, I didn't hear him say that, but I believe that he said that, and that is very smart of him to, to, to plan on controlling the wrist of his opponent in order to land these strikes. But go against to his feet, now he has the body lock against the cage, looking to trap, to trip Durante to the floor, to the mat. But beautiful, beautiful job for Durante. And a strong comeback here late in the first round in a fight that Pagoa was controlling early on. 30 seconds to go. If I'm Pagoa, I want to get a barrage of my own. Good level change by Pagoa to avoid that hook from Duarte. Another body shot by Pagoa. Very, Pagoa, very smart. Got Durarte a little hurt here, it looks like. Yeah, I that think overhand you're right, landed. And that was a uh, a solid shot from Pagoa that hurt Duarte. Fortunately for him, time ran out in that opening round. Yeah, Durarte doing a very good job at doing a lot of movement. He's running around this octagon. Here's the head kick. Ooh, by Pagoa man. lands, but Durarte takes it, grabs the ankle, gets the back of Pagoa, but also snatches the wrist, and Pagoa was trapped. His, his only way to get out was to do a 360, and he eventually did get out by putting his back to the mat. So again, here's that wrist control. Look, he tries to spin out, but he can't because he has his wrist. Right hand after right hand. The only way Pagoa can get out is by doing a 360. Doesn't, but gets taken down, eventually spins on his back and freeze himself, but very smart tactic by Durarte. Durarte is sucking some wind in that corner, looking a little tired out there, doing a lot of road work, going side to side in this octagon, where Pagoa is slowly stalking. Durarte training at Apex Mixed Martial Arts, while Pagoa does his camps at Extreme Couture. Very even fight. In that first round with uh, Duarte landing 26 of his strikes compared to Pagoa's 22, but very, very accurate. He was landing 68% of his strikes thrown. Yeah, great first round by both these individuals. Durarte pushing forward now this round, changing the game up. He was on his bicycle last time. I wouldn't say his bicycle running away, but moving, looking for his openings, getting his reads. Now he's staying a little bit more in the center. Switching stands like he said he would. Pagoa stalking. Always attacking that body because he can't reach the chin of Durarte because he's moving back, but inching his way in. Beautiful! Beautiful knockout! 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 Puni Pagoa puts an end to this fight in an inch! Down Durarte says a lot. Here it is, paw now, go to the body, but now hook to the head. Beautiful, two to the body, three to the head. He kept doing that uppercut all day to the body. This time he kind of pulled it back and set up the hook. It's like he was working it the whole fight. And Pagoa's here at the corner. He's telling us he has power, his coaches are here. He's here for the 125 pound division. Look at the look on Pagoa's face right there. What a warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Chris Flores, calls a stop to this fight in 47 seconds of the second round.